It's something that we often hear or do. We complain about back pain. Now, caring for your back correctly is important and can help you avoid further problems. With us now is Dr. Leslie Tozer, physical therapist with the UNM Interdisciplinary Spine and Pain Center. Leslie, thanks for coming in. Like I was saying during the break, this is something that almost everyone I know deals with at one point or another or in one form of another, back pain. So uh, you work at UNM that specializes in spine pain. So tell us more about spine pain and back pain and that whole deal. So I work at a specialty clinic that focuses on spine and pain. Mm -hmm. And so we get our patients from primary care physicians who have patients who maybe need a little extra help. Mm -hmm. And our clinic uses a, a team approach, a multidisciplinary approach. We have providers, physical therapists, physiatrists, neurologists, interventionalists who do injections and other procedures. So we have this team approach at, mm -hmm. at our clinic. So uh, most back pain resolves quickly mm -hmm. within a weeks to a few months. An acute episode of back pain can resolve very quickly. Okay. But some people um, have more recurrent issues. Often mm -hmm. it recurs within a few years or occasionally you'll have chronic back pain. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're dealing more with people who... Are dealing with it more on a chronic level. Correct, gotcha. yes. Now, it's, it's pretty, is it pretty common for folks to have a lot of back problems? Do most people have back so problems? So almost all of us will have a, an incident of back pain somewhere in our lifetime. It's, okay. it's extremely common. Mm -hmm. um, Unfortunately, between the low yeah. back and the neck, yeah, we're we're, more, we're likely to have some some incident of back pain. Okay. Most of that, seventy percent of back pain is because we've sprained the back. Gotcha. There's been some kind of sprain or strain to the back. Okay. So we there's a lot we can be doing. Okay. To stay active and keep moving, and and how we live our lives has a huge impact on whether we keep getting recurrent back pain or how limiting that back pain is. Okay. Now, if we do sprain our back or we pull our back, what do you recommend that, that we do? Is, is that something we don't necessarily need to call somebody? Is, is that right or is that something that we can kind of maintain at home? Great, great question. So uh, it's pretty common to wake up with a crick in your neck mm -hmm. or to, you know, strain your back. I pulled my back. My patients right. say that all the time. The important thing to do is actually to keep moving. Avoid anything that's aggravating, but keep moving as best as really? you can. These okay. are, are mostly musculoskeletal issues. Muscles and ligaments can get strained. They need blood and oxygen and nutrition to heal. If we don't move, they can't get that. If we right. just stay in bed, then the muscles can't recover. Right. Um, so we really need to keep moving. One of the things I think that happens with my patients is the pain can be really severe. Mm -hmm. a, a spasm in your back or oh, that yeah. tight neck, that can be really painful, and so we feel really afraid to move. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we need to do the best we can, avoiding anything that's aggravating, but get back moving again That's as interesting, because, yeah, I mean, it, it kind of goes from what, you know, you might, in, you know, sort of intuitively think of, well, I need to give it rest, but we really kind of want to keep moving so that it doesn't stiffen up even worse and make it worse, Exactly. Right? Now, when do we need to consult a doctor? If we've got a pain that's going on, what are some of the signs that we need some help? Yeah, great question. I'm really glad you asked that. So. I'm going to separate the low back from the neck for a moment. So for the neck, if, if your neck pain started with a trauma and you are young, unless it was a severe trauma, you probably don't need to go and get an x-ray. Any kind of severe trauma for the neck needs an x-ray. Okay. In the elderly, even a very mild trauma can cause a fracture in the neck, and that those need to be x-rayed. We, we don't want to be going around with fractures in the neck. We need to know about that. So trauma for the neck, x-rays. Um, Symptoms to watch for with neck pain uh, would be weakness in the arm would be a big ticket. Mm -hmm. uh, severe pain down the arm, severe tingling down the arm that does not go away. Um, those things probably should be worked up. A change okay. in your gait, clumsiness in the hands. Okay. For the low back, uh, incontinence is a huge emergency issue. Okay. So if you're a normally functioning person, you have a back strain or sprain, you injure your back, have this back pain, and you're having incontinence that you've never had before, you need to go to the emergency room. Gotcha. Also leg weakness. So sometimes just the foot drops, sometimes the whole leg drags. Those are emergencies okay. that can come with back pain. Clumsiness, again, balance, just not walking right. 
those are those are emergencies, rare, mm -hmm. but those are reasons that you'd want to be going straight get in to the and emergency. Get some professional help. Yeah. Well, folks, we will have links on our website at casa.com to the UNM Spine and Pain Center. Doctor, thank you for this information. Very vital stuff there. And if you do have any questions, folks, you can give them a call at 505-925-4331. Hit them up at hospitals.unm.edu/pain. Thank you so much thank for coming. You.